am going to take you on a vlog. I haven't done this in a while, so it's just gonna be a day in the life of a teacher, but a healthy lifestyle teacher, just my life. Updating you on everything that's been going on because I haven't given you an update in a long time. So I'm not gonna wash my hair today. I'm gonna take a body shower and then I'm going to just wave my hair and explain just what I've been doing with my life. Let's go. Alrighty, so I'm gonna throw a little dry shampoo in. School this year, as you guys know, is just a little crazy. And lately we've had no subs. My kids are coming in and out. Teachers are going in and out. So we've just been kind of doing whatever we need to do to stay afloat. With that being kind of stressful and feeling like I have no control, I put a lot more attention into um, the gym and just focusing on like my health mentally and physically. So if you saw my last video, you see that I started training with my boyfriend and that's like four days a week. So I'm not calorie counting really or anything like that. I did decide to add um, cardio this week and I just kind of decided like, let's see what my body does with it. <laughs> Some other things that you might see in my little vlogs are I'm making shirts. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've done that for a while, but I started making shirts and like teacher shirts and just kind of like everyday anyone shirts. So I have a couple of Valentine's Day ones I need to make today. I'm going to try and make those this morning. I also have progress reports due today. So as soon as I get to school, I gotta put those progress reports in their envelopes because they are due at eight o'clock this morning. But I did not wanna work over the weekend because I'm trying not to bring work home. It's all part of this work-life balance, which is kind of my main focus in the first place. Well now, since I'm training at five, it's like, uh-uh, and I work like 30 minutes away. So it's like, you gotta leave by four. So that gives me like 45 minutes to stay after contract time to get what I need to get done. And then I gotta go, cause I gotta do something for me and my health. So to me, that's been a really good boundary setter. All right, I'm gonna speed this up. I wish I could in real life. Okay, hair is done. One, then I have to get dressed, get my lunch together, and then head to school. Okay, so pants are from Forever 21, bell bottoms, and the shirt, I don't remember where the sweater's from, I think. Like, Holes or something like that. Okay, 
Oh, lights on and everything. Okay. All right, I gotta set this down real quick and then do progress reports. And we will do them together, shall we? Please work, please work. My standing desk is now a tripod. Okay, so really I already had these done, but they are the wrong ones because of course I had issues with progress reports. So we gotta start over. Done. Okay, got them all switched out. I only have one that I want to double check because it doesn't seem right, but the rest of these are good to go. Okay, I will pick you guys up at recess. So our curriculum is wonders. And if you guys know the wonders curriculum, there's like more than enough things to do in there. But I decided to print, um, who's it from? Okay, so I print out a ton of stuff from Amanda Garcia's TPT store. So this is our interactive notebook. And every week, here's our table of contents. Oh, we started off with just vocabulary, so they have to get used to it. And then we kind of went on to these ones. So we kind of break apart each little category. This one, they just need more visual for their vocabulary words and stuff like that to help them remember the test. Yeah, and this is where we are today. Today we're on our vocabulary words and we did part one for stone soup. And then tomorrow we'll do the next one and do three more vocabulary words. I have some more things that go in there that just kind of break down the story, get us more familiar with vocabulary and whatnot. Um, and then we did our brochure. This is from Lori's second grade skills, but it is third grade wonders. So it's aligned with our story. So it's a little brochure. Our story this week is the real story of Stone Soup, one of my favorites. And it has a little bit of everything. So we have vocabulary. We did grammar and vocabulary strategies, talking about root words here. We have more um, phonics on that side. And then on the back, we did the skills. So it's just punctuation, but they have like compare, contrast, a little bit of like everything in order to really solidify all the skills for this week. So love these. So I love those because, <laughs> so I love those because we have interactive notebook pieces, but we also have like just regular um, worksheets you can print out. So these are just vocabularies, root words. We can never get enough vocabulary practice. Okay. So we're on this one. So those are from our district, just spelling and grammar. We're gonna fill out these ones text questions, and our fluency for the week. I actually gotta pass it out because we're gonna do that as soon as we get it from recess. Alrighty, kids are off at lunch. I already had my little goalie vitamins at recess with some little chocolate bites. Came in super handy, those are almost gone. Probably gonna finish those at lunch. And then I'm going to eat my chicken and rice. Y'all, I'm so bummed. Two reasons. One, I am bummed because I forgot my pesto or barbecue sauce. So I'm having to eat relatively plain chicken and rice. A little bit of a bummer. Two, today's camo day. I forgot to kindness week. It's camo day. I have the coolest black and white camo pants. And I forgot to wear them. Cool outfit. Just wasted. Okay, so I have 12 kids. I originally have 25. So I have like half of them gone. Last week I had half my class gone and I had like five or six second graders because we had a lot of teachers out and we know subs are like sparse. So I had second grade in here too, which was really fun though. It was chaotic, but it was super fun. I was exhausted by the end of the day, but during the day it was a blast. Now the teachers are back though, so I just have my kiddos, but again, half my class is missing. Somehow we end up being more talkative with less students. I don't know how that happens, but it's really hard because it's like, I still have to move on, but I'm moving on with half my class, knowing I'm going to have to like, either like come back, reteach, you know, and stuff, which is math can do. Reading, not easy to do, but with wonders it spirals. So it's like, we'll come across the same skills and stuff like that but they mess out on some cool stories like this week's story is like my favorite the real story of stone soup 
absolutely love it. I surprisingly have good energy and I've only had one of these little Celsiuses. I haven't had any coffee today or espresso. Very impressed with myself. And the snacking has been relatively minimal. I've had such a huge snacking problem lately. Like I find that I'm a very big stress eater. Stress eater, I'm needing some comfort foods like goldfish, chocolate. I'm trying to make smart snack choices. And then like I said, adding the cardio in. So even the not so smart choices, maybe I'll burn that off in my cardio or my workouts. Today, I'm gonna go work out hamstrings and glutes. So I'll probably bring you on a little bit to show you some of that. Won't be a full video like the last one because it's gonna be a very similar workout to just the last video. So if you wanna check that out, just like go actually check out the whole video. This is gonna be more of just like a little bits and pieces of it, you know? Okay, it's the end of the day. I've been so drained come the end of the day, like this year specifically. I'd say this last trimester specifically. Uh, okay, I'm going to record next week's story because I help out the independent study teacher who does third grade even though she teaches second grade. It's her first year teaching, so I'm just like amazed that she even took on independent study after school baffles me so i'm trying to record the stories and get stuff ready ahead of time so she has that so i'm actually setting up my canvas page so for unit four week two let me see if i can flip your around looks like this so got that ready for her even though we're on week one so i basically just put the story here's a story that like i recorded so they can listen to that. We have the spelling and grammar pages basically dressed in whatever form, choose, complete each sentence with the correct spelling words. So that's what we're doing there. So I have her set up for spelling and some grammar. I'm honestly just a little too pooped right now. I set up the whole week, so I will just finish that off tomorrow. I am recording the story right now. That way I can upload that to YouTube because I have a different YouTube that's for the kiddos and that's blooming with miss b if you want to check it out it's more of like the stories i teach math lessons and not reading yet math is just you know straight to the point i like teaching the math <laughs> okay so i'm gonna finish recording this and then i'll pick you guys up when i'm done okay i've managed to stay over time like i normally do but it is 337 and the latest i can leave here is four so in that scheme of things i'm doing pretty good I managed to record that thing for school. And then once it hit 315, my contract time, I was able to record a reel and take a couple pictures. So hopefully that'll be good for Instagram. And then now I'm going to go home, change, and then we're going to work out. Oh, real quick, before I go, I wanna show you this website that I absolutely love. I use it every single day. I might've shown it in another video, I'm not sure, but it's called Classroom Screen. You're going to see it in like all my videos. I use it every single day. It's amazing. Um, Miss Kid from Miss Kids Creators, she posted it and I've been obsessed ever since. So just classroom screen. You can put the time, date. That's just like a logo. I put whatever logo for what we're doing. So like when we do boom cards and stuff, that goes there. Down here, you can put other things. Calendar clock, stopwatch, traffic light. You can just type whatever. And they have all sorts of like different backgrounds. This one's my fave. How freaking cute is he? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and just like really unplug for the day. Turn that off and then shut off my computer or at least put it to sleep, you know, have it take a nap. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Sleep. All right, ready to go get our workout on, work out those glutes and hammies. Yes, no, not really, but kind of, let's go. <laughs> We do cardio I play like Mario Cause dress like the cardio Okay, I gotta show you these shorts They're from Amazon They got that little V Super cute Not too short, not too long Perfect length, I'll link them down below Okay, let's put some shoes on, go to the gym Hey mister Just wrapping up. Yeah. How are you gorgeous? Good. Do you know how that one 
the deadlift one. Mm -hmm. Can I use that or can I use one of the preloaded bars? It would be preferable to the bar because when it comes time to add weight, you can actually add really the right very amount. Familiar. Yeah. Otherwise, you have to go up by like 20 pounds or 10 pounds. Or... No problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Am I ready? Okay, we are done with the actual workout. Now we're just doing the burner lunges, which are always brutal at the very end. But if I don't get sweat in my eye, then it's a win. Workout is done. Okay, let's go pick up Lucas, the pup, and get out of here. Okay, got the pup, we're home. Okie dokes, but we're going to just chill and lay low the rest of the night, maybe cook some dinner. We've got a sleepy pup on our hands. What? What's this about, huh? Hmm? <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, I know I haven't done a vlog in a long time. Are we getting a second win? Do you want to play? Mm -hmm. Don't start, but don't start something you can't finish. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just want pets. <clears throat> I know, I know. Jesus. Okay, well. Okay, you know, well, if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Right? <laughs> Bye, guys.